Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm doing another Use It Up July project. I have gathered a few scraps, a few things that I had laying around on my desk, and I thought I would show you a tutorial on using a guest check and making it a pocket, as well as a junk journal page. So think of these techniques that I'm showing you for use in your journals, your card making, your tags, whatever it may be, play with these ideas and try to use up the things that you have in your stash. So I've got a guest check. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cup this guest check. So I'm just grabbing my paper cutter and I think what I'm gonna do is measure about two and a half inches and we're gonna make this guest check into a little pocket if you will kind of like a library pocket i'm going to add some distress inks to these edges i'm just using walnut stain and i'm going to go ahead and remove this little piece i may use it somewhere else it's on the bottom because i wanted the pocket just a little bit more narrow if you will all right so these are going to go together and i think i'm going to go ahead and glue these in place so they don't shift on me for the next thing that i need to do so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue right on the edge and across the bottom and back up the other side. So this is gonna make a little pocket out of this guest check. Now I'm gonna lay it into my spray box because I want to change the color of it. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna lay it up here. I'm gonna grab the stencil that comes in the Youthful Yellow Creative Kit. I've also got the Youthful Yellow Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And I'm going to spray through this stencil. I'm going to go ahead and spritz the whole page because I plan to use this page as my foundation for my junk journal page. I'm going to grab another sheet of paper. I'm going to lay it on top of the stencil to mop up that spray that's underneath. So this is a great way to get more than one element or page or piece whenever you're using a stencil in Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz the back side just so that it is glimmery. And then I'm gonna set this one aside and we'll use this somewhere else just to give you an idea of what that looks like when you mop up. Here is my element and it created a void here, which I think is gonna be a neat element for the page. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna spray the back side again with the youthful yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this page in half. It's a little bit damp, so you wanna be very careful. You can go ahead and dry it with the heat tool or let it air dry. So now that I have my page laying here, I'm just kinda of looking at it, trying to decide what I want to do with it. And I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some stamping on here. So I'm just grabbing a scrap of paper here and I'm gonna stamp around the outside edge. I'm going to use the distressed edge. This one kind of looks like damask to me, but in a border fashion. And I've got jet black archival ink. So I'm just gonna ink this up. And then I'm gonna start by stamping really close to the edge and making that across there. If I get off a little bit, I'll come back and stamp it again right on top of it, and that'll kind of help fill in. So I'm just gonna keep going all the way around the outside edge of this page. All right, now I want to put some shabby stitches around the inside of this, so I'm just going to mask off the bottom portion of the box. I'm gonna grab the shabby stitches, one of four stamps. This is where you could use a sewing machine, you could hand write it, you could just doodle lines, but I'm gonna use the stamp. So I'm gonna stamp on this side, and then again on this side. I'm gonna rotate the page, kind of masking off here. Stamp across this side and that side. So that kind of gives us a little box right here. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and I'm going to stamp it again with the distressed stamp. Okay, so now I've got both sides stamped. I've got a little strip. This was a piece that I cut off from another page. So I think that would be kind of cute laying up here. And then prior to the video, I stamped out the 
summer flower and I painted it with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and I think that would look cute right there. Then I have a little scrap of paper that I think is the perfect size to stamp the word journal on. So I'm going to use, this is part of the journal quartet. And I'll stamp that right here. If you're following along in the Use It Up July, you might want to check out my Facebook page where I have an event. And if you will post a photograph of something that you have created in July under there, you get an opportunity to enter into a giveaway that I'm having. And so go there, check the link below for the, the Facebook page event. And all you gotta do is post a photo there and you'll be entered. All right, I think this is gonna look kind of cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Distress Ink on this little strip. So I really am trying to use all the pieces on my desk. I cut a piece of paper and I have a little pile of scraps that sometimes I'll keep because I think they're a pretty piece. And sometimes you gotta figure out how are you gonna use them? And this is one way to do that. So I'm kind of looking at this. I think I want this right about here. So I'm going to take some Aline's Tacky Glue and I'm going to glue this, but I'm going to lift up that flower so it's underneath. And I'm going to put the word journal on here and then we'll put the flower right here. I've already stamped on this side, so I'm going to grab a butterfly. I've got some fussy cut butterflies here. So I've got one. And I think I'm gonna put that right there in the corner. So this side and this side has been decorated. Let's do something with the inside now. Okay, for the inside, I'm gonna use this little piece. It's going to become a pocket on the page. So I need some things to go inside of it. So I've got a strip of paper. I've got another fussy cut element and I've got a I call this a journal card, if you will. I'm going to go ahead and add some Distress Ink. So I fussy cut this out, and you can see the white areas. And I'm going to go in here with my blending tool, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of kiss in this area that's white and change it to be a little bit darker Distress, because I think it kind of helps get this image to, I don't know, come together a little better. And I think this piece is going to be adhered right on top of this pocket. So I'm going to go here and just add some glue on the back side. And this is going to be a pocket on this page, just so that I know where the center mark is. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the page and either go ahead and fold it in half or at least kind of mark it with some Distress Ink. So now I know that this is pretty much the center here and I'm going to adhere it down as if it is a pocket by just putting glue on the outside edge on three sides. I have this little strip here that I want to turn into a tag so I'm going to do two things. I'm going to cut it and I'm also going to punch a tag shape. If you don't have a tag shape you could just whack off the corners, punch a hole in it if you like. You could even leave it as a strip. I'm wanting it a little bit shorter so that's why I'm punching it. And this is the Paper Studio Punch that's from Hobby Lobby. All right, so there's part of it. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off about three inches off the bottom. And I'm going to punch this piece as well. And then I'm going to use my Distress Inks and go around the edges. I'm going to go ahead and go around the little rectangular piece. This was a scrap that was left over when I was making some journal covers. I printed these images so that I could cut them up and use for the inside of my journal. This is going to become a journal card that's going to fit in here. And I think what I need to do is decorate these with some fibers. So let me grab those and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got some fibers out here and I know I'm gonna want these two pieces. So I'm just folding it in half and I'm gonna trim it. And I'm gonna do it one more time because I know that I want more than one because I've got the two tags here. 
So I'm grabbing two of these fibers and I've got a string that was a leftover from when I was binding a journal. And I found that if you have fuzzy fibers, sometimes they're hard to get through a hole of a journal tag. Well, if you use another piece of string that's easier to maneuver and manipulate, you can pull that through the hole and then you can pull through the ends with a lot less headache. <laughs> So now we have little fibers right there on the tag and that can go inside this little pocket and we'll do it again on the larger tag. All right, so that's gonna go up here, but I think I wanna decorate this upper portion. So I'm gonna take out these tags just so they're out of the way and shake off any loose fibers that are laying on here. And I've got the shabby stitches again. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm kind of using what I can see on the other side. You may not be able to, but I can as a guide and I'm gonna stamp right on top of that strip of paper that I cupped on the other side. So you can see that. And then I've got uh, Beauty is Soul Deep. And I think I'm gonna stamp that right in here. And then I have a little butterfly. So I'm gonna stamp that on either side. So it just adds a little bit of decoration to the top portion of this page so that when we put these pieces in, you have a neat look. We still have a blank spot over here, so let's look at that. I've got a copy of a gel print. So here's another way to use those mixed media pages. When you're using my stencils, you can scan in your artwork and then print it off and use it in your projects. And that's what I've done here. This was a gel print that I scanned in and I have trimmed it to be about five and a quarter inches wide so that it will fit. It's also a little bit shorter than five or eight and a quarter, I think is what the, the size of it is. And so it'll fit over here on this side. And I think what I wanna do is I wanna stamp around that outside edge with the shabby stitches. So I'm just gonna go all the way around this rectangle with the shabby stitches, okay? And it's okay if it's off. I'm gonna kinda of stamp it a couple more times. Kinda of gives it that look like, well, there might've been a mistake, but maybe not. So this way it just kind of adds just a little bit to it. I'm going to go ahead and go around the outside edge with some Distress Ink. I think I'm going to adhere this onto the page. I'm going to make it a pocket. So I'm going to leave this side open and just glue here, here, and here. So on three sides. So this becomes another pocket in my journal. I have a little fussy cut butterfly that I'm going to put here. And then I have a fussy cut... Uh, this was called Garden Rose, and I haven't put Distress Ink on it. And I wanted to show you that this area is kind of white in here, but you may not want to color it uh, when you're coloring the other. But if you use your Distress tool and just barely rub in that area, it changes it from that stark white and makes it a little bit more vintage and not so brilliant. I like making little images like this and fussy cutting them ahead of time and putting them in a little container so I can just pull them out as I need. So it's kind of handy to have. I think I'm gonna put it down here on the corner. It could become a tuck spot. Maybe they'll have another journal card that you want to add to it. I'll just put it across the bottom here and let's put this little butterfly. Now I've got a pocket in this blue piece. So let's see about making something to go in this pocket. So I'm gonna set it aside. And I've got a about a five by seven journal card. I think it's a little bit bigger. It's just whatever this paper was. I have a strip here and then I have a little rose. So I think what I'm gonna do, all right, we're gonna stamp this. So I'm gonna get the shabby stitches out and I'm gonna stamp right around the outside edge. Again, if you have a sewing machine, you can sew on your card. And I think what I'm going to do next is not too far from the top, probably about almost an inch and a half, and I'm going to go across. So that kind of gives us a space right there. I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges with this dress ink after I trim this little strip to be the same height as the journal card. So I'm just kind of lining it up with the edge so that I can trim it off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go around the edges with the dress ink of both these pieces. All right, I think this piece can go 
probably right about there with this rose on top of it. I know the rose is different than the sunflower, but I like mixing the different flowers together. I think that'll work. So we're going to glue this piece down and I'm going to glue the rose on top. And now let's put this together. So this is going to go inside this pocket here. And then I don't have a card that I want to put in here, but I think this one will work. So this is just a card that I made by spraying uh, Tattered Angels through a stencil and got that design. I added some Distress Inks. So I put that there. I think that looks pretty cute. So here's the first page. And then you would see this page with the tags. Beauty is Soul Deep. You've got this here. We have a journal card over here. It takes a little bit of finagle to get it in and out. And then on the back side, we have this stamped area. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a tutorial on using your supplies that you have on hand, using those little bits of scraps, if you will, using stencils and tattered angels, using a guest check to make a little pocket, and a gel print as part of your decoration of your page. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Of course, check out the description box for the stuff that I use. Also check out my description box for the event that I mentioned at the beginning for the Use It Up July, as well as my Facebook groups, by Linda Israel and Friendly Junk Journal People. I am live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. and Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell that's at the top of the screen so that you get notifications when I go live or when I post a new video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your support. Have a fabulous day. Lots of love to you. Bye.